good morning and uh, welcome back to the channel. We're actually on Thursday, funnily enough, just because I didn't take my uh, GoPro out on uh, on Tuesday. I did a really good 10k run, did it in 52 minutes. Absolutely phenomenal. So happy about it. Anyway, that was a Tuesday's run, absolutely amazing. So happy, didn't even think about it, and just just ran and had a good time. So anyway, today I'm doing about an eight miler. Again, not looking for any time, just having a fun time, just going out running and enjoying it. Another thing is the reason why I'm already here with doing my intro. It's too dark when I leave the house at seven o'clock now because we're coming into winter and I know that next week the crops are changing and I don't even know what the plan is with regards to recording so I'm gonna have to play it by ear I guess. Right, see you guys in a bit. During this week, I think it was on Monday or Tuesday, I can't remember, I got an email from the, uh, the London Marathon, basically saying, because I deferred it last year, did I want to apply for 2022? So I said, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. So I paid for that and did that. And I was absolutely so happy about that. So I know I've got that next year. And then I realized I've got the Chicago Marathon as well which is a week later. So I'm not just running one marathon, I'm doing two basically in the space of a week, which I'm not quite sure how that's gonna go, but it should be very interesting. So if anyone's done two marathons in a week, please let me know down below how it's like and uh, what the training was. And if you had to do something different than just training for one, the training for for two so it'll be quite interesting to see what other people's journeys were like training for two in a week someone's just told me there's water on this path should be quite fun you ready Well, this should be fun Oak Hill Park on Saturday. Shouldn't it? Where they've been waterlogged and muddy and everything. So my guess would be, we're gonna be doing this B course, which I absolutely, oh my God, absolutely hate. Oh, now my shoes are all soaking wet. Oh, this is gonna be fun for the next couple of miles. Oh dear, wish me luck. Not only are my feet absolutely soaking wet, I forgot I'm going up a massive hill, which is one of my hates when I run. So, I think, I know, when I do my start training plan, when I start my training plan, I'm gonna to have to include hills, which I know is a killer, but I was always told, if you do hills, they will help on your long runs and on your marathons. So that's today's run done. About an hour and 14 minutes happy about that um, I'm a bit dirty from the park so as I said that's gonna be quite interesting 
on Saturday. I don't think I'm gonna take the GoPro with me um, for my park run, just because sort of it'll be the same every single week um, with you know who's there and and the uh, the route around. So that's today done, just over eight miles. I'm happy with that. So I'll see you on my long run on Sunday. I think it's probably gonna be about 10 or so miles. See you there. Good morning. Um, I wasn't gonna to film today, but as I decided I'm not going to uh, Oak Hill Park today, the park run, I'm going to Pims Park a bit further down the road. Um, I thought I'd take the camera with. I'm also wearing this new free train vest. Just testing it out today and uh, seeing how, how it works. I know that the phone goes in here. I've got my keys in here. Uh, you can have a gel on this side here, but I, I don't have gels. But yeah, take you for the ride. Three twenty-eight. God, I'm happy with that. I was probably about 10 seconds behind my dad. Never ever happened before. So very happy. But how's Penn's Park? And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning. And it's, uh, it's now Sunday. And uh, a little bit through my Sunday run. We're about sort of just coming up to the third mile and uh, nice and easy but we're gonna do 10 miles today got my trusty Lucas aid with me on my longer runs um, the thing was I was discussing with my dad yesterday after we uh, we did the, the park run and we were saying like we should start taking gels but what we don't like is coffee we hate coffee doesn't do anything to us so what I want to know is is there any gels that are basically non caffeinated that are just sugary which helps go along the routes of races and also online that would be really helpful if people know about that I must say and I haven't really mentioned it this new training vest Say training vest, vest that holds my phone and keys. Absolutely phenomenal. I can't feel it, it's tight. The phone does not move. Well, it might look like it's moving, but it really doesn't. So, I 100% recommend to buy one of these. They're incredible. Basically, another thing, I'd normally be running down that way, but I still think it's flooded from the other day. So I decided to uh, come up this way. Right, catch you guys in a bit. I'm back now, finished my time 10 mile run in one hour 28. Quite happy with that, nice steady, steady pace I was doing. And again, this vest, absolutely phenomenal, absolutely love it. And uh, I will, I will um, see you guys next week. Um, again, if you like this content, subscribe, like, share with everyone. Um, liking the video gets out to sort of more people and grows my channel. So, guys, I will see you next week.